brought to life. The words that like ban heal the wounds of the fight. It's the presence of a loved one when the end draws in close. The touch, tone, and tenderness, saying it's safe to let go. It's the sigh of relief felt receiving a favorable reward. It's care of community, the sustaining support. It's a death paid in full when no hope was foreseen. The substitution of another in that place, I am free. It's a bold invitation to surrender everything to the one God creator and his spirit to receive. It's a pure invitation to come feast and enjoy, find friends at the table, abundance and more. It's assurance of life, eternal, starting now, living whole while leading to a glory that is not my own. Its expression is seen in a vast array. Its origin is clear in the price that was made. It's a life lived in power, with resurrection at the core, freely entered through surrender, with Christ as the door. Right, Sandra, let's the little stage here. Would everyone welcome her with me? with sobs and shiver. 
I knelt before God at my bed in prayer, calling out into the cold evening air, that at the dawn when I opened my eyes, they would be colored like summer blue skies. But if God heard me, his answer was no, and my mother heard me weeping in woe. She comforted me, saying, God is wise, and in his wisdom he gave me bright eyes. Wow. A little brown-eyed girl, how could you know of the woman into which you will grow? Though you may think that beauty was denied, you shall come to realize that God was wise. For girls of India do not have eyes that are the color of summer blue skies. Instead, their eyes are warm and dark, which glimpse inside a shattered heart. But through your brown eyes, they shall see grace abounding eternally. You will one day stain your skin with poppy and garb yourself in a Hindu sari to walk among strangers, bereft and ignored, that sit each day at the portico door. You will plunder a god's sacred treasures, depriving many men of their pleasures. For God will set his fire in your heart, and his passion will burn and make you smart. Out from among the shawlies of Belfast, you shall trudge along a vast winding path. For the tears they flow thick and fast, till God declares they shall not last. Brown-eyed girl, you will risk blood and bone. And who could know of this but God alone, of how you will change the worlds of so many little brown-eyed girls?